Here is the syntax to create a macro. Create macro, macro name as open paren. Select asterisk from SQL class dot employee table where department number is in 300 and 400. Semicolon, close paren, semicolon. Every macro you create will always end in semicolon, close paren, semicolon, or it's going to error. Then when you want to run this macro, you execute the macro. You see, we select from a table. We select from a view, and we always execute a macro, and then the query will run. One of the things I love about macros is that you can run a ton of SQL in the macro, and it's always one transaction. As you can see here, I'm going to create another macro, macro emp2 as, select everything from employee table where department number equals 400 and semicolon, and then select everything from department table where department number is equal to 400, semicolon, close paren, semicolon. When you run this, it runs again as one transaction and you're going to get both answer sets. Another great reason to create these macros is so that you can take the complexity out for the business users. Here, I'm doing a join between the employee table and the department table. So, when the user community needs to execute something more complex, they just execute the macro and, of course, the complex query returns. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.